YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another video. Today's video, I have an amazing luxury handbag to show you, and I am so super pumped. She is in this box, and as you can see, I've opened it because I didn't even get out of the parking lot at UPS before I ripped this baby open. As I was walking to my car, I was trying to perforate this tape with my thumbnail, which I succeeded because I do dip nails, so my thumbnail's awfully strong got through it, got in the car, pulled, ripped it open, was checking it out, was smelling it when the UPS employee who helped me began knocking at my window mid sniff. And I rolled down the window and looked at him and he said, you have another package in there. She was coming out to find you and we thought you were gone, but since you're here, run back in. I was a bit mortified because like I said, I was mid sniff when he knocked on my window and he probably thought I was literally Looney Tunes. But anyway, that's what I do as part of my inspection process is sniff my bags, as you all may know, especially if they come from a pre-loved site such as Fashion File or Rebag or a Facebook reseller, I like to sniff my bags. Now, I like to sniff my new bags too because I just love the smell of leather. So when I open up a box and the smell of leather wafts out to me, it is a very pleasurable experience. So without further ado, let's get into this box. Of course, it came with the fashion file wrapping and there was a little bit of confetti inside which fell out into my car as I opened it. I have the fashion file nail file and I do use these, although they're not that good of files to be honest with you. They don't last me very long with the nails that I have because I need some powerful sanding action on my dip nails. I can never just paint them on and they're perfect. I have to sand at them to get them nice and smooth. But I do use those and I really like that plastic cover on those nail files because that keeps the inside of my handbag from getting scratched, especially if it's like a leather interior or I have a small leather good that has like metal on it that would keep the nail file from rubbing up against it should I just put the nail file directly in my bag. I don't usually do that, but if I did, I would use that little plastic cover. So they put it almost in a small leather good bag. I've never seen a fashion file dust bag like this. You can see the color peeking out. I tried to color coordinate today. I've got my Effie ring and it has, I think you say it like chalcedony, but I may be saying that wrong. And it's this beautiful like blue green stone. I got this ring from, I believe, Belk a while back. I did a video on it. I think it was like $112 or something crazy like that. So this is a beautiful Valentino bag. This is the Flip Lock Crossbody. It does have the rock stud spikes on it. And I tried this bag on in Kansas City recently, and I never shared the footage with you. It was a coach video where I was in Kansas City, but I stopped through Nordstrom on the way. And I'm gonna put a couple of shopping clips in here of a few of the different bags that I saw. But one of them was this bag in black. And I never thought that I would like this bag. I just didn't think it would be for me. And I tried it on there in black and I just absolutely loved it. So let's roll that footage now. So I walked into Nordstrom's to use the bathroom and I spied this Valentino bag and the leather on this is amazing. And I've always steered clear of this particular style because I felt like the studs were too much on the strap. Now, if you look there, if I want to wear it on my right hip, I have it extended most of the way it will extend. I oh, it, it probably has a couple more inches it could go, but it is on my back. And then I have studs all the way at my chest. And it's funny because I actually think this looks better with my outfit than the bag that I'm currently carrying, which is my St. Laurent camera bag or Lou camera bag. But this is really nice and I see these on YouTube and I see them for sale all the time. I kind of thought they were out of style, but it has a decent capacity. Definitely could fit daily essentials in there. It does curve in 
on the sides. So you lose some space there, but I really like it. It's very cute. I've never had the opportunity to try on the medium size Nikki, and so that's what I'm doing here. It is a decent size bag, that is for sure, but I think you could fit everything in the kitchen sink in there, and it's still pretty lightweight. Of course, I had this in the baby size, and I did sell it. I was worried about the black on black hardware, but there's lots of them out there that have silver and gold hardware, so this may be a contender for me in the future because sometimes it's just nice to have a bigger size bag. So here is a little the tote bag and this color is like the prettiest Barbie pink. I don't know the name of it. I'd have to probably look it up online but it is beautiful. There is a Givenchy Antigona and then these are by Louboutin, these tote bags and I do think that they're pretty cool because they have the signature red bottom, and literally it's a signature on the bottom, I think, just like the shoes. And I like how they're studded here as well. I like studs. What can I Here's say? the size difference between the Mini Marcy and the next size up, and these are by Chloe. I had the Mini Marcy briefly. I can link the video down in my description box, but this bag literally just did not hold what I needed it to. And I find this bag to be ginormous. You've got their straw totes there as well. Those are $790, which I don't think is too horrible. In price. These are the Fay bag. And actually, I like this size, this style, better than that next size up in the Marcy. And I know there's an even smaller version of this, but. I think that there's too much going on with the handles and the strap and the zipper pull and you know this flap for that smaller size but i do like this size trying it on just real quick there i don't know if i like the curve on me it's funny how certain curves on certain bags work on certain people and not so much on others i like this bag better on the shelf than i do on me I'm back. So as you can see, I was pretty enamored with it and I was actually looking for it in black and I found it through Fashion File in New York and it took a while for them to get back to me. I really prefer the California office. They're a lot quicker in getting me photos. I have a wonderful sales associate called Jane and I can text her and she gets back to me with lightning speed generally. Anyhow, I left a message with New York. I texted a number that they had texted me with before, and it took probably three days for them to get back to me, at which point the sale was over. And this bag, I would have gotten $100 off. The black one, which was the way I was leaning, I wouldn't get any discount on because it was under 1000 This was just a little bit over. And so once I saw the photos of the black one, I was like, eh, this is a no-go. I'll pop a few of those pictures in. It looked like it was pebbled leather, which is what I wanted. And as I was looking at it, I saw that it had a big dent in the back. And so I reached out to Fashion File and asked them if they would still honor the $100 off this bag, since it took them a while to get back to me with the photos of the bag in New York. And they agreed. So I got this beauty for around a thousand dollars and the retail on it i think is 1950 after tax roughly i think it's 1850 plus tax but it's around that range so i got it for almost half off when you consider taxes and i am super pumped so let's go ahead and look at her in detail if you look at the back here you'll see that valentino is stamped there i think it also says garavani and just so you know, there is another Valentino called M Mario or Mario Valentino. His designs pop up a lot on Rula La, Gilt, Saks Off Fifth, um, I think Nordstrom Rack. It's not the same thing, so don't be 
confused with that. Mario, I believe, is related to this Valentino, but it's not the same level of luxury. It's more of a contemporary brand than the Valentino Garavani. So don't pay premium prices for that one. Certainly has some really cute designs, but it's not the same. So this bag has a removable strap and it has these rock studs on it. And I didn't think I would like the rock studs on the strap. But when I tried it on at Nordstrom, I was impressed. I really liked that subtle sparkle. And it also came with the dust bag, which is amazing. This is even better. This is hard to find on the pre-love market, but it came with all of the cards, including the one with the price tag and goodness sakes when the person bought this bag it was 13.45 which now like i said i think it's about 1950 after taxes and i got it for around a thousand dollars with taxes included because i don't pay tax at fashion file i don't think this bag was ever used if you look inside, it is all suede, which makes me nervous. I'm gonna look through my inserts that I have. I have a fair amount from bags that I have sold, but then I have kept the inserts. So I think I should be able to find something that will fit this bag to protect this beautiful interior. So now I have the strap pulled out. One of the cool things about the strap on this bag is you can move it because of the way it is wound through the interior. So let me get it adjusted. I like for this part to hit me on the chest, but because of this bag's design, the way that the buckle is, it's going to be on my back. That's okay though, because it is a very petite buckle and I don't think it's gonna bother me at all. When I tried it on at the Nordstrom store in Kansas City, it didn't bother me. So I'm color coordinated with my top. I have kind of a camo top with a little bit of mint in it. And the color of this bag is called Celadon but I think that this is fabulous. I am so, so excited about this beauty. I mean, look at her glisten as I move. And I think that the plaque on the front or this closure is gonna be the same size as my Valentino Rockstead spike bag. Let me grab that one. I thought it was the same, but it's bigger. The plaque is bigger, so I won't be able to use the stickers that I have left over from my Rockstead spike bag to protect the hardware on this bag. And I haven't found any hardware protectors for this particular style, so I'm just gonna have to be careful. I have heard though that Valentino's platinum coating on their hardware is very resilient and that you may not even need a sticker because of that. When I say sticker, in case you're not a regular viewer, I am talking about hardware protectors that I buy after I purchase the bag generally to keep the hardware looking nice and shiny and prevent scratches. You can see the size on these is pretty comparable. And honestly, I thought the room on this would be substantially less, but now I'm wondering if the insert from this bag would even fit into this one. I got this insert a while back from a brand called Divitize on Etsy and it's pretty nice. It's not the same quality as Zumani, but it was custom made for the bag that I just showed you. And so it is very well fitted. You can see how it dents in on the sides. And that's why I think it may really work for the bag that I'm wearing currently. So this inserts just a tiny bit too big for this bag. You notice it, especially whenever you close it up, it's just right here up at the top. It kind of pokes through. So to me, that shows that this bag is just the tiniest bit smaller than that medium rock stud spike bag. So I'm going to see if I can find another one that will fit. So I just went through my stack of organizers and I found the perfect one. It's a nice pop of pink. This is by that same brand, Divitize. They had custom made a few organizers for me a while back. And I think that this one was for my medium Roman stud bag and it was too small. And so it just popped into my mind. So I got my ladder out and got up on my closet shelf and pulled this out. And 
As you can see, it has a couple pockets on each side. They're kind of short. I wish they were a little taller, but they definitely work to hold cards upright. And I do have the space to do that and then go ahead and close the bag. So that's gonna make this bag extremely functional and it's also gonna keep its shape. And you can't see anything where it's poking out on the sides. So I think it is just absolutely perfect. I'm gonna grab my Cassie 19. I wanna show you this bag next to the Cassie 19. This is a really pale minty color and I think that the camera is picking it up pretty well but I want you to see how pale it is in comparison to the Cassie. I think you can tell how well it matches my ring which I'm so excited about. I think I just have two other bags in this color family and one of them is the Cassie 19 in the faded blue and you can see how much brighter the faded blue is than the Celadon. It almost makes the Celadon color of the Valentino look like it's gray in comparison. But then when you see it on its own, especially with my ring next to it, you can really appreciate the shade. The other bag I have in this color family is my Arctic Kira. And this is a lot closer in color, but it is also super different in style. The Kira is an adjustable crossbody or shoulder bag. You can use the chains in a couple different ways. And of course this has the long strap to wear it as a crossbody bag or as a shoulder bag. So the functionality of them is kind of different. Plus this bag's way heavier than this one. And the hardware on both of these other bags I'm showing you is silver. And this is really a pale gold. It is called platinum, but it's really a pale gold and it works with either gold or silver jewelry but i would lean more towards wearing a little bit of gold with it and this little combo that i've got going right here with a white gold tennis bracelet a yellow gold rope bracelet and then my ring has a little rim of gold around the edge i think it's just perfect so i think that's all i have to say about this beauty i am super excited about it I kind of took the leap because I sold my Tory Burch Raffia Stripe Top Handle Bag to one of you lovely subscribers, and I, I hear you've already received it. I hope you're happy with it. Anyway, that covered about half of the cost of this bag, not quite, but almost, and I have a little bit of YouTube income coming in that will cover the rest, and so that's how I paid for this bag, and I'm really trying to stick to if I don't sell a bag or sell something or have some income coming in that is generated by me, that I don't buy any more bags for the rest of the year, except for the Georges BB that I showed you the other day, and then one more that I plan on picking up in Hawaii later this year. So we'll see if I can hold to that. This is cheating just a little bit because I did have a little bit out of pocket, but it's not cheating a lot. So that's how I justified it. And then I did end up returning the Sammy because it just wasn't for me. And I felt guilty about spending that extra money when I knew this was coming. Of course, I never know what bags I'm gonna love when I get them. I mean, I didn't know if I'd like this bag. It might've come and smelled like cigarette smoke. I mean, it didn't say it would, but you never know. So sometimes I'll order things and then I end up sending them back and I would have liked to keep them, but it just didn't work out. So I kind of took a risk and ordered a few things kind of in the back of my head hoping I would want to send something back and I don't want to send this back. Let's just say that. I'll make it work somehow. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.